In this video, we're going to we're going to expand on the logic behind boxing and boxing definitions. So the demonstration is a little bit complicated. It includes four layers um, built off the existing road surface, um, 370 mil up from the center line for this 120 mil ACP, uh, 250 mil minimum GBC, and also we're widening the formation. Um, a different layer, 400 mil pit, pit, pit run it's been called, and we're undercutting um, the existing formation as well underneath that. This demonstration will be um, set up in two, in two videos. The first video will be um, creating this 120 mil ACP layer, which includes um, traditional uh, boxing file within the MTF, and part two will be um, creating the, the, the layer two and layer three, layer four, as that's part of um, a boxing many function. So the first step that I took um, in relation to this design, I created a, an existing sensor line that I followed as closely to the, the natural surface as I could, as I could fit. Um, and then basically I um, duplicated that alignment and I moved it up 370 mil, 370 mils. So that was done by um, string edit command and I went to move vertical parts and I moved all my vertical parts by 370 mil so obviously that's that's gone up too much now so um, I'm just going to put it back to where it was but that's my uh, design alignment that I'm going to run my templates off I then applied 2% uh, template left and right hand side of the alignment. So that's all pretty straightforward stuff. We then had to apply 120 millimeter um, ACP layer. So that was done in the MTF editor. So in this editor here. And basically I have brought in a boxing a Menic Road BF file and I've applied the templates to only the right hand side and it's 120 millimeter ACP. So I'll quickly turn that on to show you that it's working and there we have it, 120 mil ACP underneath the road surface. So the first question I got uh, was so why did you just place it on the left hand side um, also on the right hand side and not on the left hand side and the answer for that is is the way that the boxing file is set up. Um, and I'll uh, just quickly open that up and I'll explain what's going on. So the layer that I applied was 120 mil ACP. So I'll open that definition and I'll explain what it's doing here. So the first, first line of the boxing file is this copy ECL. So what it's basically doing is it's grabbing this road string from the design manic design string and the name of this string is called ESL and basically that ESL fits in this this hit here and it's basically being dropped by 120 mil from this point down. It's then basically copying this string called ECR which is this string here and basically dropping that by 120 mil and basically on this left hand interface it's basically from this point here it's interfacing the same cross fall from this point here at two percent and then interfacing with the tin and this is this, this is this part here and on the right hand side we're interfacing from the last point from from this point here and interfacing at two percent so the question is so why haven't i placed um the center line in here well th to answer that Boxing, boxing rules work work from left to right. So they basically follow the cross section from the left, inter, basically the left side interface or the last point to to the right hand side. So basically, if I was to um, apply templates on the left hand side on just the right hand side, um, this would be basically coded slightly different. Um, and basically, boxing files can be set up where they can cover the whole cross section or they can be set up to just work on one side of the cross section. So let me explain that. So what I've basically done is I've also created a template called 
120 mil ACP left hand side only. So when I open up that one, I'll show you that it's slightly different. So the, the first point on the left hand side is still this ECL, so it's basically still copying this ECL, but but it basically will stop at um, at the center line, and in this instance, the, ex, uh, the center line is named, it's called EXCL, and basically this, this is copying from here. So if I was to basically apply that template in, instead, now this boxing file, this boxing template, so this boxing section would actually stop um, at this EXCL. So if I was to then say, I only want it on the right hand side, um, I've done the same thing and I'll show you from here, it goes from left to right, it starts at the center line this time and the center line is EXCL, so it's copying EXCL minus 120 mil down and then basically it's going to this string here which is ESCR and it's basically copying that 120 mil. So let's see that in action then. So if I was to change my template now to be on the right hand side 120 mil ACP right hand side only and hit recalc and then view my section so on the left hand side I could place uh, a left hand side only template as well so I'll hit recalc for that now and view my section you'll see now that it's basically doing the same thing as one boxing template would do. So it all comes down to how you set up these uh, boxing definition files. I mean, I find that it's easier to use um, a single boxing template for the whole project. That's why I have this 120 mil ACP and then just to isolate um, left and right hand side if I need to. Um, but it all comes down to, to the way you guys set it up. Um, so I'm just going to basically uh, remove this left hand side, um, hit recalc to get it back to where I was.